Hey guys, Sedman, WWE Rocks here, and a huge change to the WWE Greatest Royal Rumble event was announced today via Twitter. Um, it surprised me because I just thought, I saw Undertaker, I saw Casket Match, it was a tweet from WWE, I just assumed, you know, they were just continuing to promote him versus Rusev, because um, that had already been announced, obviously, if you've been keeping up with this big Greatest Royal Rumble event in WWE. Uh, happening in Saudi Arabia, of course, this massive, massive event. They announced Undertaker versus Rusev in a casket match, and I was pretty cool with that. I thought that's that's kind of a weird matchup, but you know, it's this big event. This is a wacky. This is a this is a wild card if I've ever seen one, um, because it just you never know what they're gonna announce. They got Triple H versus John Cena. They got a 50 man uh, Royal Rumble event. Uh, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns in a steel cage, where the title's probably most likely gonna change hands. Uh, but today, they changed it. So, apparently, um, like hours before, Lana tweeted this. She said, All over the world, little boys and girls are celebrating Rusev Day. They smile for the greatest superstar ever. I've already spoken with WWE officials to change that match because I refuse to let my husband, Rusev, compete in a casket match at hashtag WWE. G R R. Happy Rusev Day. It, it's it's an all. It's always a great Rusev Day. Um, so apparently that's the storyline. Um, I, I I do see a few people already saying this is probably Rusev getting release, getting granted a release because there has been rumors that he is wanting to leave the company. Um, but he got replaced with a pretty pretty awesome guy. So it is now, as you can tell by the title of today's video, getting to the point of today's video. Undertaker versus none other than Y two J Chris Jericho in a casket match. And I'm actually really, really happy about that. Um, I was totally fine with Rusev. Um, now I, I'm, I'm worried about what's going to happen to Rusev. But since um, he's out and um, you, you have to put someone in his place, Chris Jericho, I think that's an awesome, awesome matchup. And um, I think that's really cool. I would, I, I think it's cool that we've never seen Chris Jericho in a casket match, I believe. I believe the article said he's never been in one. Um, but him versus Undertaker... Um, at this point of their careers, it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting to see. So I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. Chris Jericho has already announced for the 50 uh, Royal Rumble event, the 50-man Royal Rumble event, so I don't know if he's going to stay in that or um, just do the singles match now. He'll probably just do the singles match now. Um, but also, real quick, it doesn't really have anything to do with the topic of today's video, but it does have to do with the greatest Royal Rumble. Have they announced like what the winner gets? Because... This is the biggest Royal Rumble match in the history of WWE, 50 people. Um, you know, what is the winner going to get? Is it just going to be a, a title shot, or is it going to be something, like, totally spectacular? I don't know. Does he already get booked for the next year's WrestleMania? Who knows? Um, but I'm excited. I think Chris Jericho versus Undertaker um, should be really fun. Put in, putting it in the casket match, um, adding that element to a match, I think that makes it even more fun. Maybe it makes it a little easier for Undertaker just because uh, after WrestleMania, it's it's probably likely that he's not able to do all this crazy stuff. So maybe with just with that element, kind of making a no disqualification, they'll be able to do a little more stuff just around the ring and something that may be more easy on the Undertaker. Um, but I'm actually really, really happy about this. Like I said, I've said that like 30 times in this video already. Um, it's good to be happy about things. We need some positivity in this world. Too much negativity going around with wrestling and just everything. It's so annoying, um, when everybody is so negative about stuff. But, I'm pumped for this. Let me know if you're pumped. Um, it's looking like a really crazy car. Like, this is looking, a lot of people are saying this is like the actual WrestleMania. Because it's looking pretty crazy. Um, they got a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. Basically, it's the tr same triple threat for WrestleMania, but Samoa Joe's uh, the fourth guy. Um, the Matt, the Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy versus either, or the Revival versus the Bar for their ta tag team championships. Usos versus Bludgeon Brothers. Cedric Alexander will be defending. AJ Styles will be defending. Jinder Mahal is defending against Randy Orton. Um, in the 50-man 50, 50 Royal Rumble match, they've already announced people like Kurt Angle, um, Daniel Bryan, Kane, Big Show, Braun Strowman, Bray Wyatt. So Bray Wyatt's probably doing double duty. Um, and like I said, John Cena versus Triple H, and the whole point of this video, Undertaker versus Chris Jericho in a casket match. It's a crazy card. This is such a random card, um, and I'm really, really glad that it's actually a network event because I feel like they're really going to do storyline-wise stuff, like probably a WWE title change. Uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing for sure Reigns is going to win it, but, I mean, possible more title changes. Um, so it's a very, very exciting card, and I hope it lives up to the hype. I hope it's a really fun show. Um, and not taken too seriously, honestly. I hope it's just fun for the fans in Saudi Arabia and just an awesome, awesome event to watch on the network. So let me know your thoughts on this. What's happening with Rusev? I'm, I'm nervous, guys. Please hold, hold me. I'm nervous. Um, what's happening with Lana? 
But Undertaker versus Chris Jericho in a cask match, um, definitely not a downgrade. I think that's a step up, honestly, and I'm very, very excited. So let me know your thoughts all about this down below in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. And as always, have a great day.